Welcome back to Kansai Busker. This is CCR's Lodi. Very sad song, but uh, excellent, excellent song and not that hard to play. And I'm just going to show you that. Um, now you will see, I'm going to explain at the end of the video too. Um, always learn a song as low as you can, if, you know, or the easiest chords that you can, and then you can use a capo to move it up. So um, I will show you shapes. And at the beginning, when I'm playing the song in a G shape with no capo, it is going to be the key of G. But you will see it will move up, and I'll show you. We'll get it higher to where Credence would play it, okay? Um, the other thing I'm going to be showing you is some of the main chords. So you can see here that the song's going to start out in um, G, D, C, G, and E minor, okay? Now you can see... You've got a full six string G here, which is just over there. Um, you've also got the normal blues, rock and roll G, which is three fingers, but it's also six strings. Okay, so that one or the other one, the first one I mentioned, that one. Okay, you can take a look at those chord diagrams. I won't go into too much detail now. The C, you can do your five string C or your six string C. All you're doing is moving that pinky up into where your ring finger was and moving the ring finger to the biggest string there okay the lowest but biggest string um, you also have an E minor E minor just middle finger there okay on that second fret second string and then your ring finger just below it second fret third string nothing else but you play all six okay um, you've also got a D D is four strings so you are playing that one, which is open, and then, all right, there's your D, um, and I think that's it for there, okay? So G, C, D, and E minor, that's right, okay? Now later, the song's actually going to switch into a uh, higher key. I think it goes up a whole step, and when it does that, you will see that it's actually going to um, the verses are actually going to be, or well, the last verse is going to be A, D, A, okay, and then F sharp minor. Now, F sharp minor may be the first bar chord for some of you if you're not already playing a B minor in F sharp, but basically what you do is, I this is how I play my E minor, but you if you took the E minor shape and just use your pinky and ring finger, and then you just slide it over, basically... I'm not playing this one, but if you sli slid it over just one from there, that's an F minor. And if you slide it over one more, okay, that's an F sharp minor. So basically you are barring um, the second fret completely. Then there's nothing on the third fret. And then on the fourth fret, you've got your uh, ring finger and pinky, okay? That's not easy. And the other thing I always say with bar chords is just get your thumb in the middle of the back of the neck there and get your tension equal. So the tension should be really on the thumb as much as possible, that back thumb, not on any of these fingers at the front, because if you do, then it gets very, very hard to play, and then you'll be, you won't be motivated to do it, okay? So just remember, there's your E minor there, and you're just sliding it up too, and then you're barring the second fret. There's your, your uh, F sharp minor, okay? Just so you know that, that's probably the hardest chord you'll play. And then the other one is the E. So just remember, there is your, there's your um, E minor, and your E is just that you put that finger there, okay? And it's a six string, big old jangly six string chord, okay? So here's how the, the uh, song goes. Um, intro, the very beginning of the song just goes, Bam, 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 da, 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 da. D, C, G, one more time. G, 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 D, C, G. One more time, intro. D, G, 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 D, G, D, C, G. Okay, now strum patterns, just so you know. Um, this one. Uh, you have a choice between two main ones, okay? You go bass down, sorry, so bass down, and then down, up, down, bass down, 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 down, up, down. 
or bass down, down, up, down, up, bass down, down, up, down, up, bass down, down, up, down, up. Okay? So um, you can do either one. It's just at the beginning, it's a little bit hard to do that. Okay? So if you even find that your bass down, down, up, down is hard, then you can just do bass down, down, down. Okay? Bass down, 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 bass down, 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 down. Okay. And also on the D, C, G, because it's a very short chord, you'll be doing this. So just, I'll go back to the G. Bass down, down, up, down, up, bass down, down, up, down, up. Uh, bass down, bass down, G, G, up, down, up, G. Okay? So on the D and the C, you can do bass down. Bass down, bass down, and then back into that bass down, down, up, down pattern, or bass down, down, up, down, up pattern if you want. So that's the V intro. Okay, last time. Dun, 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 or dun, 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 still a C either way. Okay, pretty much a C. Okay, and then here's the first and second. Um, verse with which don't have anything special in between in fact it just goes straight from verse one to verse two but it goes like this I will uh, sing, uh, hum the melody, but I also say the G, the, the chords, okay? So, G, G, C, G, G minor, C, D, D, sorry, G minor. So that's twice. The first two uh, verses will do exactly that. Okay? And just remember, you're basically choosing. If it's long ones like the G, you're going bass down, down, up, down, up, bass down, down, up, down, up, C. So, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Yes, yeah, so I'm still doing down, up, down, up. But if remember what I said. If it's too fast for you, then on that C, on the shorter chords, you can go... Bass down, down, up, down, or you can do bass down, down, down. Okay? And then sometimes you can even just do. Okay, you can just strum. So just see see what you want, but also remember vary it up. So sometimes it's you know dramatic to do a or okay, so remember you got bass down, bass down, down, down. Bass down, up, down, bass down, up, down, up. Okay, and you can keep going up from there. But the, the key is the bass and down to start. Okay, so now the only other thing you need to know is it when it changes keys, there's a strange little bridge. Okay, and now we're switching into D chord, which you've already got, and the A chord, which is a five string chord, and it starts here. Okay, and you are basically doing pinky on the second fret fifth string i'm trying to show it to you there okay second fret fifth string ring finger um second fret second fret fourth string and the uh, middle finger second fret third string okay the only open string that you're going to play is this one so there you go don't you don't need to play that okay so just that's the a we have the D, which we already had. We've got the E, okay? And remember, we've got the F sharp minor. So it's just an E minor on the fifth fret, okay? And then the, um, is that right? Just a second, let me just check. 
F minor. No, no, sorry, I take a back. E, uh, e, e minor shape on the fourth fret and the bar on the second fret. Okay? So, here's how it goes. So, after you've done. Here's the key change. It goes like this. Okay, so it's D, D bass strum, D bass strum, A bass strum, E bass strum, A down, down, up, down, up, A down, down, up, down, up. Okay, so that's that. Mm -hmm. That is the little uh, break part, which is also introducing the fact that it's a key change, okay? And then the actual um, last verse, which is in this key now, goes A, 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 D, A, A, F sharp minor. one it's the same pattern and the same strumming patterns that i showed you with the gcg versus the first two okay it's exactly the same thing it's the same down up down strumming okay and then the only other thing you do is there is a final kind of fade out that they do which you could just play this twice and it goes a a a a And it's all, as I said, it's all bass down, 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 or bass down, down, up, down, or bass down, down, up, down, up. Okay? So even on that A, I'll just show you. It's just like this. Bum, 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 bum. Okay? Bass down, 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 or bass down, down, up, down. Okay? Or bass down, down, up, down, up. So depending on what you think you have time for, and then remember, sometimes it's just, just very dramatic. Down, down. Okay, sorry, down, down, down. Okay, so just whatever you need to do, that's how you play it. That's 13 minutes, it's still a bit long. I want to try to get these lessons under eight, but with the key change, it's a little bit longer. It's like two songs, basically. Hope that's all right. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Um, at this moment, it's not a uh, money making venture, it's just a, a, a hobby from here in Australia from a Jersey boy that was born in Seattle. Um, long story. Anyway, but uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm not going to spam you. In fact, I won't do anything. You'll just see if a new video comes out. Thanks a lot. See you guys. Bye.